Hey, what's up, everybody? We are live. Today is the 15th. I'm here to teach the black belt class for you guys. So uh, just like always, watch, do it with me. If you have any questions, comments, need me to slow down, anything like that, always just let me know in the chat. Uh, Master Wagner is going to be watching too. And she'll be here. So if you guys have any questions, she can get you going. Uh, but with that said, let's go and get started. Go ahead. Let's go. Attention. Phase me. And like that. Let's go ahead and get those big arm circles going forwards for me. Big, big circles. Ben and Gabe are here. And, other, and, and Evan and Jake. Sweet. We have a lot of people getting going forwards for me. Today we're going to be working on kind of the same things we've been doing these past couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to take you guys. Keep going forwards for me or other direction. Uh, I'm going to take you guys through some kicking and some boxing. We're going to do some conditioning. Uh, and then I think, just like always, we'll pop over to Zoom afterwards and pass the wagon. But yeah, hopefully you guys are going well. Hip circles for me if you haven't noticed. Uh, what else we got? Henry, Mahika, good to see you guys. And hips going the other way down. Yeah, um, we're going to work on, I'm going to show you guys a, we're going to continue working on kind of spins. Uh, we'll go into a fancier kicking combo today. And then with our boxing, uh, we're just focusing on that speed still. It's going to be circles for me, going in to out. So we'll do some speed drills to get you going with that. Hopefully your feet are feeling good from uh, Monday. So we did a lot of like, are feeling good, not as in sore, straight leg circles now. But as in kind of feeling like they're understanding it, you get a good foundation with your hands and feet. Same time. All right. Let's go ahead and step back. Guarding stance. Hey, uh, front rise and kicks to my count. Ready? And Hana. Dual. Set. Net. Dasa, Yosa, Ilga, Yuda, Maho, Yo, and don't switch feet. Aya, same thing on this side, ready? Right? And Hana, Duel, Set, Net, Dasa, Yosef, Ilga, Yuda, Aho, Yo, and jump switch feet, Aya. Same thing, uh, no, side kicks, side rising kicks. So, side rising kicks on this side. Uh, make sure back toes point back, front toes. Jesse's here too, good to see ya. Uh, side rising kicks, so back toes point away. Drop the shoulder over this way. We don't really want to be squared up when we do it. We're doing side rising kicks. Ten with this leg, then we'll do ten with the other leg. Ready? And Hana. Duel. Set. Net. Dasset. Yosef. Don't lose your hands. He'll go. Yuda. Uh-oh. Yo, and jump switch feet. Hey, yeah. Send me on the side, ready? And hot. Duel. Set. Net. That's it. Yo, set. 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 All right, uh, let's do a warm up. We do a couple of different things with our warm up today. We're going to get mostly uh, our legs going because uh, we'll start with kicks first. What we're going to do, I don't know if we did this last time. If we did, you should be good with it. If not, I'm just kind of watching my feet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out. I'm going to do a lunge. I'm going to come back, jumping jack. I know some of you guys really like doing uh, your star jumps. 
You can do a star jump instead of a jumping jack. You get to choose the, but again, it's lunge, back jumping jack, and then you go other way. Lunge, back jumping jack. So hopefully that makes sense. We're going to do about a minute with it. All right, and I'm going to do it with you guys. But again, it's lunge, jumping jack, lunge, jumping jack. Ready? Get set, and go. It's really not that deep and grab, especially if you're on a hard boy like I am. Letting it smash. Oh, make sure you're all alternating. I didn't do it that time. Don't let it smash. If you let it smash it, it's going to hurt a lot more than our squishy mats at the school. Just lunging out. Jumping jack or star jump, you can choose. Just have fun with it. We're about halfway through with this one. I gotta remember which leg stepped out. You might be getting a little confused if you are. That's okay. I am too. About 10 more seconds. And last one. Time. Sweet. Uh, so, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be in our guarding stance. You're gonna do one hop. And then one squat. So it's going to look like they here. I kind of turn sideways. So I'm here. I'm going to bounce with my guarding stance. So it's just a guarding stance bounce. Squat down. Now I go two bounces. One, two. Squat. One, two, three. Squat. One, two, three, four. Squat. Your goal is to make sure you're just, the speed of your squat is the same tempo as your bounces. You're going to go all the way up to 10 bounces. So. 10 bounces and then one deep squat. Once you've done 10 on this side, switch your feet, 10 on this side. Uh, and again, if you have questions, write it down. I'm going to do it. If you want to go faster than me, it's cool. Ready? And go. So bounce, squat, bounce, bounce, squat. Two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And once you do one side again, you gotta switch feet to the other side. Again, you keep going on your own. So one bounce, squat. Two bounces, squat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Cool. So I gotta do a little bit more time to finish that out. Again, just get your legs ready to go for the rest of the day. Give you guys about 30 more seconds. If you finish, you're gonna grab some water or catch your breath. I got you, go for it. <laughs> Again, just bounce, 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 and squat. You get water when you're doing it. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to start talking about our kicks. Uh, we're going to go. Last couple weeks, I've been focusing on doing a kick and then kind of hopping into a hook kick, if you remember that. Where I'd go like ground kick, hop, hook kick, or turn side kick, something like that. We're going to flip the script today. We're going to go spin kick. Hopping into a kick. So the hop is now going to happen after we do our, our uh, spin kick. We're going to do that and we're going to focus on some fade away kicks as well. Those are especially good when it comes to uh, sparring. So let's start it out. All you're going to do is you're going to go jab just to disguise the movement. It's good to disguise what you're doing. You're doing jab, spin, side kick, or back kick. You're just going to switch your feet every time. So let's go hands up. Ready? When I say go, jab, kick. And that jab can hide that little prep step if you need to take a prep step. 
it's okay to use the jab to hide it. Say, hey, look at my hands. We have everything else set up. So let's go guarding stance. Hey, yeah. Ready? And go. So jab, kick. And then shuffle back. You're switching feet every time. Ready? Go. Be a turn back kick or a turn side kick. Doesn't matter to me. And go. Jab. Kick. Three more. Or four more. Three more. Ready? Go. Jab. Kick. Always land and then shuffle right back. Keep those bounces going. And go. Jab. Kick. And one more. Go. Jab. Kick. Sweet. Uh, now let's work on the fadeaway kick. So the fadeaway, when you guys do this, uh, the fadeaway is to help create distance if somebody's coming in on you. So if they're shorter than you and they're kind of far away, they're coming in slow, if you try to do a fadeaway, you're going to miss them. This is going to be in an instance where they're either coming in very, very fast or they're bigger than you coming in, and you're just not going to be able to do Well, maybe not bigger than you, but, like, the threat is higher. The threat is higher, so you got to make sure you get away. Because if you don't get away and you just try to spin, kick them in place, A, you're going to be too close. B, you're going to be too slow. So that's in a situation where we want to do the fadeaway. So what I mean by fadeaway is I'm here in my guard extension. I'm going to turn just like I'm doing my turn kick, right? It's first step for our spinning technique. But after I turn, or kind of as I turn, I'm going to switch my feet. So from here, I turn, switch my foot, feet. My front foot is taking the place of where my back foot was. Uh, so we're going to try that 10 times. Just do the chambers 10 times on that leg. You hop, you replace, turn, chamber for a side kick. Because we will end up going other things. All right, so try that 10 times. I'm going to do it 10 times, do it the other side, uh, and then wind it on. Cool. And begin. So again, my feet just trade places as I turn. There's one. I'm going to do 10 all on one side and then 10 all on the other side. We'll alternate. That's fine. I switch. And as I turn, my feet just switch places. Look over that shoulder. And just keep that knee up, make sure you have a good chamber, make sure your balance isn't all crazy. You want to be able to pause there for a second or two, just making sure. I'm going to do three. Ah, I'll do four more. Hopefully, I'll do four more on this side, then switch feet, but just keep going. Again, I turn. It's not a huge jump. I'm not jumping really high in the air to do these. It's a little jump. I just slide trading places. Right, 10 with that side, 10 with the other side. And here, turn and look me up. I'll do one more, then I'll switch my feet. Turn, change the combat. Now we'll go other side, so um, I gotta be this way. <laughs> so again, my back, my front foot takes the spot of my back foot, and my back foot looks up to change. I'll sit back a little bit so you can see the feet. From here, as I turn, that knee just comes up. Now I taper for a back kick that time. That's okay. You're going to either go knee down for the back kick, or knee sideways for the side kick. Just don't go knee up like you're throwing the front kick on this one. Not uh, when you're spinning. It's not going to be the best one to throw a front kick. Again, here, I trade. I'm going to do three more. Hopefully, you guys have finished. Uh, if not, if you have finished, shout us far. If not, Get as many as you can. Oof. Don't land as hard as me. Land soft. It's not fun to land hard. I'm going to do two more. Just stepping back. Knee chambers. Because even here, somebody ran into that. I would stop them. I would score those points. And time. Cool. So now we're going to throw the actual kick. What we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to try this just a couple times. It's going to be my count now. When I say go, front foot replaces the back foot. Back foot shoots out that side kick or crossing kick. Cool. We'll even jab into it too. So when I say go, jab, spin kick. 
Well, because that jab, it, it, and it, in some situations, if you start jabbing towards somebody, they're, and they're in attack mode, even if you jab them, you don't even like really score them with a kick. Just jab, I might, might make them back off, I might make them freeze, to give you time to do that beautiful kick. So try it out when I say go. Uh, give me that kick, ready? And go, jab, switch side kick. And then I'm just gonna keep alternating feet. You can do, uh, I'll have you guys do the same. Ready, go, jab, stay away, kick. All right, now I'm kind of doing two hops. It's okay if you do two hops. If you go here, one, and you gotta hop to reset your stance, that's okay, as long as you're getting further away. Ready, go, jab, hop, kick. Go, jab, hop, kick. Go, jab, hop, kick. Here, let me see back here a little bit. Couple more. Go, jab, boom. And go, jab, boom. Cool. Now let's add on to that a little bit. We're going to add on to the jab. You guys are breaking needle to drink water. Uh, but this time, instead of just jabbing in place, you're going to be stepping backwards, jabbing yourself away. So this is already somebody's coming towards you. Maybe the first two moves, right? You don't know. You don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just, I'm just checking my distance, trying to keep you away. I don't know what's going on. Boom. Spin side kick or fade away kick when you don't care what's going on. So we're going to try it out. We're just going to practice our jabs, stepping with our jabs backwards, uh, and then we'll go into the kick. So go guarding stance. Hey, uh. Again, I'm just going to go this way so you can see my feet. This footwork is really important as I'm teaching this. Let me just angle it down a little bit. Let me double check time. It is 102. Oh, okay, cool. I've got plenty of time. Fantastic. All right. So, from here, as I do this, I'm going to jab with my front hand. As I do this, um, I may change this, but we'll step back with the back leg first. So, I'm going to step and jab, reset. Step and jab, reset. Back leg, front hand. Try that out. Just kind of get that, get that motion going. Uh, sometimes you can go here. Today we'll go back foot, back hand, reset with the front. Back foot, back hand, reset with the front. Try that out. And then shuffle forward for me. Keep going with that, okay? Just pausing after the single jab. Shuffle back up. Keep going with it. You can go your own pace. You don't have to wait for me. Shuffle up. Now do two. So go two without pausing. So it's same footwork. I'm just going back, front, back, front, but it's fast now. Try that out. And then shuffle back up. Don't walk up like I just did. Cross your feet being lazy. Shuffle back up. And then shuffle up. And then I'll keep going on your own. Couple more. And time. Cool. We're going to do this. Uh, again, I'm going to get you guys going. You can feel free to go your own pace. If you get more reps in, that's fine with me. But what we're going to do is we're going to step back, jab once. All right? So it's one, two. There's an easier way to do that. Let me see here. One. No, no, we'll go with that. So it's just one, two, okay? Stepping away jab, fade away kick. Let's just try that before we start getting crazy. So practice that on now. Jab, kick, All right? And then try the other side. Jab, kick, All right? This is not forward power motion. This is backward motion. They're running into you. That's how the power works in this technique. Again, jab, kick. You're checking the distance, making sure they're not too close. Throw that kick to catch them real good. Keep going on your own. Jab, kick. All right? Couple more. Jab, kick. Jab, kick. All right, that kick, 
may not give up, may not. I'm, I'm, I'm right now. I'm kind of kicking diagonal off to the side. I got to look more. So plant, kick. Plant your feet after that jab. That's kind of tricky, but uh, keep going a little bit more. Again, one, two. You can double it up. See if you can double up. Double, double, kick. All right. These are more advanced techniques. You may not have used this exact combo in sparring, but it is teaching you the principle of distance checking while you're backing away. And also when you're in a pinch, ooh, throwing that back kick because it's nice. Keep practicing that for about 30 more seconds. Again, you can do single jab into your fadeaway. You can go double jab into a fadeaway, you can do triple jab. One, two, three, fadeaway kick. You can turn it to, I kind of hook kicked. If you want to turn it into a hook kick, that's fine too. Take 30 more seconds. I'm just going to ex explain the feet work again. Plant, plant. You can even go one, two, but that's even fancier. Uh, that one, I'll show it to you. If you want to practice it, you can, but we're not going to take time to practice it. I'm going just here. But then instead of setting this foot back, I'm hopping right into it. So I'll show you guys that one again. You try it out. You don't even have to try it out today, but it's just something to practice. I'm going one, two. So I'm eliminating the double step I would take with that foot. But ah, hopefully that's feeling good. I'm going to take you guys through. Cool. I'm going to take you through one more kicking combo. And then... We'll go on to some boxing. Cool. Uh, let's see here. I Oh, I wanted to add the hop kick to it. So we're going to do the turn back kick again. We're going to be practicing that. that uh, but it's not going to be the fadeaway. Uh, so on this one, no fadeaways. You're just here. Turn kick. But then we're going to hop in chamber afterwards. So I'm going to go spin side kick on this one. Spin side kicks can be the easiest to do. You can do this off a spin side or a spin hook. Trying to do add on a kick after a spin back is going to be kind of tricky, so don't worry about that one too much. But it's here. I'm going to go turn side kick, hop, chamber your front leg like you're doing, either doing a front kick or a, a cut kick. So I'm not, I'm not worried about getting my hips all the way over. We'll get to that later. I'm just pow, kind of coming up. So again, I'm turning, kicking, switching feet, back leg comes up, and kick. If you want to kick or chamber, uh, try it out. If you're doing the kick, go like medium speed. Uh, but yeah, again, it's here. Kick, chamber, or medium speed, kick, kick. Right now, don't worry about going fast. Just worry about getting that uh, motion down. Turning, I'm not re-chambering, and then trying to jump. As I jump, this leg re-chambers, so it's a fluid move. Go ahead and add the kick now. Add the kick now. So again, it's here. Spin kick, switch, kick. Front kick or cut kick. You guys get to choose. Um, going this way with it. One, switch two. At a medium speed. Full speed, it's as soon as you extend. You're popping out that kick. It's like a 360 round kick with that turn side kick in place. If you have a bag at home, this one's really fun to do. Uh, but yeah, keep going. Keep practicing on your own. Spin side kick, hop around kick. Go ahead and throw a jab cross afterwards just to make sure your footsies are landing in a good guarding stance. So spin side, hop around, jab cross. Cool. One more time. I'll keep going slow, but you guys can go to your own picks. Spin side, hop round, one, two. Cut, cut or front, I'm saying round, but cut or front. If you feel like you can get that hip over in time, you can turn it to a round kick, but don't hurt yourself. Spin kick, hop kick, jab cross. And I'm leaning into that jab cross. Kick comes out, lean in with it, right? Make sure you're trying to throw some punches. Make sure they're effective punches. You're not just doing something in the air to do something. You're saying, okay, I missed with this one. This one may be only kind of connected. Or I missed with this one, not missing with these, right? It's always your backup plan. 
you start your punches, a uh, combo with punches, finish with that kick. You start with kicks, backup plan, finish with your punches. Even if you do connect, finish it out with something else. And time. Cool. So hopefully you're feeling better on that motion. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of our boxing now. Cool, so I'm going to take you guys through boxing. I'm going to take you guys until 1.30-ish. And then from there, we'll jump over with Master Wagner the last 15 of your forms. Unless she says do something differently here. You know, she might. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to work our fast five right now. Then we're going to do some add-on stuff. So. The way it works is fast five is jab. Here we just like he do this with me slow. Jab, cross, jab, cross, pivot hook. Right? So even though it's fast, I'm still pivoting. My belt is still turning over as I throw this. Whenever I say go, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. Just like that. Ready? And go. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. And then right back to bouncing. As soon as you hook, go back to your bouncing. Ready? Go. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. You set. And go. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. And if you want to, I'm, I started moving forward a little bit. If you want to take those baby steps as you throw these punches, that's fine with me. That's fine. Or if you want to stay in place, that's cool. We'll be working on Toku when we switch over. All right, so try it out fast five on, uh, on your own. It's just one, two, three, four, five. There's a keep cranking for about 30 more seconds. Full extension, two. All right, all the way out on these punches. Make sure that back hand or the other hand is getting back to your chin on these. Don't be punching like this. I see this happen too much. I see, I see weird ones happen too much. Don't let it be weird. And time. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be going here in this in this direction. So we'll go towards our front. That'll be easier. So we're going to go jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. And then I'm going to do a 90 degree angle with my back step with my back foot. So again, I'm here. I throw my hook as soon as I throw my hook. 90 degree angle towards my belt, towards the open side. And then you do it again. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. 90 degree angle step. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. 90 degree angle step. Keep going with that and just kind of, it's all I say time. One, two, three, four, five. Open side. One, two, three, four, five. Open side. If you're starting to feel good, as soon as you land, throw your punches again. So it's one, two, three, four, Five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And you're going to keep going with it. Just kind of getting that pivot and working on a fast punch afterwards. Okay, a couple more times. Let's actually, let's add on to it. Cool. Take 10 more seconds, get a couple more sets in. We'll add on. All right, so now. We're, we're doing the same thing, we're going to add. So you're going jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. I take that angled step, and I'm going to step back and jab. And then I do the full combo again. Reset it. After that fadeaway jab, I guess it's a fadeaway, but it's a stepping away jab. It's jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, stepping down. Now that time, I did the 90 degree angle and the, the slide back at the same time. You can do that. You can either land here. Oh, go down with it a little bit. You can either land. One, two, three, four, five. Land. Then slide back and jab. Or you can go. One, two, three, four, five. Angle and slide back and jab. It's up to you. You get to choose. Try that one out for me. Try to get two circles in. So eight times. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. Jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook. Jab. 
I take just a little bit longer to practice that. Give one more time around for me. And time. Cool. Now we're going to add that fadeaway back kick to it. So we're kind of putting everything together now. So try this with me. We'll go kind of slow with it. It's jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, step and jab, fadeaway side kick. So if you get if you got that down, go ahead and start trying it on your own. But I'll break it down a few more times. Same deal. It's fast five. 90 degree step to the open side and jab. Oh, I did this side away. Here, let me break that down a little bit more. I just did my hook. Land, jab, fade away. If you want to know where you do the 90 degree angle cut and the jab going back at the same time, here, here. Something like that, all right? Same deal. Try to get two circles through for me. Same thing, jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, step, jab, fade away. Have more balance than me. <laughs> should be a just straight 90 degree angle. You should be going to the side. If you're in a four corner room, every time you step, you step to face a new wall. A little bit more time. Cross, jab, cross, hook, step, jab, fade away, side. I was kind of low, hopefully you're keeping higher than me. If you want to turn it to a spin hook, that's fine too. It's just fading away and throwing your kick, getting the footwork up. Boom! Go. Ten more seconds. And time. Cool. Uh, so that was fast five. Go into your open side. Let me just double check the time. Yes, do great. Uh, again, if you guys have fun here, I'll give you guys a little break. If you have questions, I'll give you guys about 15 seconds, 30 seconds. You can type in your questions if you have them. If you need water, grab some water. We're just going to take about a 30 second break. And then we'll go to the other side with our reverse fast five. Hopefully you're feeling good. Hopefully you got to keep getting a new workout in, learning something new, or getting better at something. That's always the goal. Keeping you busy during this time. All right. So I'm not seeing any questions. So I'm hopefully, I'm hoping you guys are getting down. Um, it's a good sign to me. Hope you're not just like super frustrated and I'm not going so fast that you don't have time to write questions. Uh, let's see here, which is what's happening <clears throat> in a real world scenario or a sparring scenario. Where would the punches in Fast Five go? Excellent question, Evan. Um, real world scenario, face. Face, 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 face. The reason why is it's more of an effective. Uh, you can aim, change the body. You can go head, head, body, body, and then back to the head to kind of like get their hands moving a lot. Um, that would that, be like in a sparring situation. A sparring situation, Use the different heights. I could even go high, low, high, low, high into it. But uh, in a real life situation, just go for the head and make it end it as quick as possible. You know, uh, don't try to lengthen anything out. Cool. That's a good question, though. Yeah. So you draw that out as we do. As we we're doing reverse fast five, see if you can angle some of these attacks at different spots. Cool, thanks. No, great. That was a great question. Glad you asked. Uh, let's go ahead and go reverse five now. Okay, so reverse five, same thing, but it starts with cross. So we're going to go, even though it's my cross, it's going, it's, it's speed. It's just peppering them up with those hands. So it's cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut with that back hand. Other hand, if you notice, is right next to my face. My chin is protected by the elbow. It's here. If it's down here, nothing's protecting that. The worst punch I've ever taken is I threw a hook punch with my front hand, but I was here without my shoulder up. I got clocked. We both hurt each other pretty good. He just hurt me more. <laughs> so make sure back in, 
that shoulder is coming up, all right? So it's cross jab, cross jab, uppercut. Keep practicing that on your own for me. Again, speed, 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 power. Speed, 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 power. So get that little drop. If you notice, my drop isn't huge, it's just a little bit, but you can't throw a proper uppercut from here. There's got to be some sort of drop to drive. So drop those hips into it. Let's go. Got another question here. Oh, okay, cool. So Henry, that's a fantastic question. Uh, keep practicing, uh, but listen as you guys do this. Um, fast five is five punches, starting with your front hand. So it's four straight, finishing with the front. Reverse fast is five punches, four straight, ending with the back one. It's just uh, the main difference is fast five starts with your front hand, reverse fast starts with your back hand. So um, the combo is com essentially the same. Where it's four straight punches, ending with a power punch. Yeah, keep trying that out. Good question, Henry. Reverse fast is cross jab, cross jab, upper good. Cross jab, cross jab. Oh, we're good. And you guys notice I'm still engaging the whole body. Even though I'm focused on speed, I'm focusing on my whole body being fast, as opposed to just my hands being fast. But let's add it, the 90 degree step. We're going to go towards your back this time. So you're going to go jab, cross, jab, cross. <laughs> That's fast five. Reverse fast. You're going to go reverse fast. So it's cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut. Back foot is going to step. We're going to go 90 degree angle towards your back. And then you do it again. Jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, 90 degree angle step. One, two, three, four, uppercut, and slide. Keep practicing that, get two times through. Cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut, and step. Cross, whoop, that's a jab. <laughs> cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut, step. Keep going with it. Speed, 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 power. Hope you should be faster than me. Again, as soon as you throw that hook punch, Boom, quick slide. 90 degree angle. Cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut, pivot. Cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut, pivot. Keep going with that. Cool, no problem, Henry. And time. Now we're going to add a kick. We're actually going to add an easier kick. We're going to add a skip up kick. Uh, the reason why is. From here, you could do a fade away, but uh, we're going to be a little bit sneaky with it. So what you're going to do is we're going to do reverse fast. So it's cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut. My back foot is going to step. I do that 90 degree angle, then I'm going to skip up, round kick. That's combo. It's cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut, 90, skip round. Then I reset again. Cross jab, cross jab, up, 90, skip kick. Keep practicing that for me, okay? Cross jab, cross jab, uppercut, 90, skip kick. Cross jab, cross jab, uppercut, 90, skip kick. Couple more times. Cross jab, cross jab, uppercut, 90, skip round kick. And these are round kicks, it's just a skip up round kick. Take what, a boot. Take about 10 more seconds of that. Angling to your back side towards your back. And if you wanted to, you could change this, like my second and third degrees. If you wanted to go, and again, this is just something to practice on this week. Uh, cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut, 90 degree angle step. If you want to turn the skip up round kick into a double motion round kick, that's awesome too. So that one again would be cross jab, cross jab, uppercut, step, one, two. Fun one to do as well. Uh, I like them all. And then if you want to get really fancy, add the hop turn back kick after that. But uh, let's go ahead and time. So hope you're feeling good. You guys asked some fantastic questions. Uh, Again, this footwork, the, the, what I'm starting to lo really love about our curriculum and how we're kind of moving forward with it and structuring it, a lot of what we do with our hands, 
feeds into what we do with our feet. So I'm going to be able to give you guys a lot of these combos. Um, if I just gave that to you off the bat, it would probably be really complex and confusing. But since we've been able to build up brick by brick by brick this rotation, hopefully you guys are getting it down. What I'm starting to get into is very, very top level footwork and, and kind of sparring theory uh, with your angles and your ins and outs. Hopefully you start kind of really implementing that into how you're sparring with everything. All right, always using your angles, always using your in, your out, things like that. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited with what I've been showing you guys. So I'm, hopefully it's transitioning to your skill and your technique. Uh, just as well and dude, we'll just keep rocking and rolling uh, we still got a bit more time of this going on so make sure you guys are finding those habits or activities that are positive influences in your life um, being in the middle of things whether it's being in the middle of the school year uh, being in the middle of like a project right I it doesn't matter what, what it is, but when you're in the middle of something, and it's a difficult thing, it's not an easy thing, but it's a real genuine project uh, thing. That middle part can be the worst because you're, the new experience energy has kind of like completely died out, and there's not the energy coming of like, I can see it coming, right? Some of you guys have to wait a couple more years. Maybe you've been this rank for one year and you still got a whole nother year this middle time can be disheartening if you allow it to be but at the same time it can, can be kind of cool because you're like you can stop worrying about the beginning or the end or how it's going and you can really fall into the work and really just allow yourself to get absorbed in because you're not like almost done or almost there you you have work and you know you got to do it so Take this time to allow yourself to really find those awesome things in your life and enjoy them. Be in that moment. Don't just let it fly by because this time could fly by. And I know some of you are like, what? And then others are like, yep, yeah, this is definitely not like flying by or feels like it's forever. We're in the middle of it. So just stay positive. Find those good things for you. Uh, one more thing before we switch over to uh, Zoom from Astral Agger. Uh, if you guys know, I've been doing the Art Warrior comic book. Uh, the first two issues out yesterday, I believe. Yesterday, I finished the third issue. Uh, right now, I can't print it for obvious reasons. But on my website, I do have a digital download for it. It's just a dollar. Uh, I'm going to put the link here. So if you guys are interested in getting that new issue, uh, it's 16 pages. It's $1. Uh, and you'll get like a digital PDF file that you can download and read. Uh, so I'm going to put this in the chat right now, and then I'll meet you guys on Zoom. So great job. Hope you're feeling good, and I'll see you guys over there. But let me just pop this in. The URL for the website is Art Warrior. So oh, here, I'm just going to type it down. But, yeah, if you want to jump over. Cool. So that's the link to the website if you guys are interested in finding the comic. Uh, if not, jump on over to Zoom. We'll see you guys later. Have a good day.